Uh, this video is going to be about subtraction of whole numbers and decimals. I'm going to show you two ways to do subtraction. Um, one is a trade first, which is um, what typically most people are used to. And then the other one is partial differences. Um, with trade first, let's start with this problem. I turn my board on here. fifty four thousand seven hundred twenty nine minus thirty four thousand seven hundred twenty six with subtraction trade first we're going to start from the right and go left right to left and we're going to check to make sure that the bottom number can be subtracted from the top number 9 minus 6 is 3 2 minus 2 is 0 7 minus 0 is 7 4 minus 4 is 0 and 5 minus 3 is 2 now in that problem we didn't need to do any trading because all of the digits in the top number were bigger than the same place value digits in the bottom number. So let's try a different problem here. seven thousand three hundred forty five minus three thousand sixty six again we're going to go from the right to the left and we're going to start from the top going down so in the ones place five subtract 6. You cannot subtract 6 from 5. So now we're going to go to the tens place. In the tens place, it's the same thing. We can subtract 6 from 4. So now we need to go to the hundreds place. The hundreds place is the first place value where the top digit is bigger than the um, lower digit, than the bottom digit. So here we can do some trading. So since we're in the hundreds place, we're going to take away or trade 100 and to the tens place, we're going to add 10 tens. So I could put a number there or some people prefer to just put um, 14 at the top. Um, either way is fine. We still need to get um, another trade for the ones place. So from the tens place, I'm going to have to put it way up at the top. We're going to take, not take, but we're going to trade 110 for 10 ones. So that gives us 15 ones when we add the one or the 10 ones to the five. Now we can go ahead and do our subtraction from right to left. 15 subtract 6 is 9. 13 subtract 6 is 7. 2 subtract 0 is 2. And 7 subtract 3 is 4. So we get 4,279. Now we're going to do the same, same numbers just with a different strategy. 7,345 subtract 3,066.
for the partial differences, instead of working from right to left, we're actually going to go from left to right, and it's by place value. So the first thing we're going to subtract is the thousands place. 7,000 minus 3,000 is 4,000. Now we go to the hundreds place. 300 minus zero hundreds is 300. And it's a positive 300. So we have to put a plus sign next to this. Now we go to the tens place. <clears throat> There's no trading with this. We just look at the digits the way that it is. So four tens minus six tens gives us a negative number and it's negative two tens or negative twenty then we go to the ones five subtract six gives us a negative number and it's negative one so now we go through and combine those numbers we find the total so it would be four thousand plus three hundred is four thousand three hundred minus twenty is four thousand two hundred eighty minus one is four thousand two hundred seventy nine so those are the two two different um, strategies for subtraction of whole numbers and decimals um, I'm gonna make um, two more videos, one just trade first and one of the partial differences and I'll include decimals with that one.